No, I should. Wait, what? Really? Oh, I, hi, everybody. I oh. Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning, <laughs> afternoon, or evening, Penny Ray Arc. Um, Machas and Bajja? Maybe? Anyway. No, I'm not playing right now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was, I was very confused. Anyway, we're, um... We're starting the last route of Cafe Enchante, and after we're done with this route, we're done. Because there's, there's nothing, nothing else. else. There's nothing else we, for us. And it makes us so sad. Yeah. I was looking I was looking through this like, look, all we have is QA, so all we would have we would just listen to the voice actors talk about the, the characters. That's it. Which which, you know, we haven't heard the voice actors ever. Yeah, so they don't matter to us. <laughs> No, we're the voice yeah. actors. And we can also look at uh, event CG if we want to look back on our memories. Um, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> fun, fun fact that uh, Candace, <laughs> Candace has the least amount of CGs. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> boy got slighted. Yeah, like um, Candace has 24, Eel has 35, Jesus. Ignis has 31, and you stick. Rind Rindo has 38. Fuck off. What the fuck? <laughs> He has so Look many! Um, and then, um, Miser has 43, which makes sense. He's the oh, wow. yeah. yeah. He's true boy! He's true boy! He gets right! Um... Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, but, but yeah. So, we're gonna start the, the route today. But before that, let's introduce ourselves. Um, my name is Nur. I voice Two Milk as well as handle narration when it's Two Milk. <laughs> My name is Tenta Narsane, and I voice uh, Ignis Carbunclis, uh, Kadia, Solon, and sometimes will never again ever load you with his 4 f one face. I hope he shows up. I want him <laughs> to show up so badly. My name's Matcha, and I voice Caro Rindo, Vienna Slizvernier, Andromi, and God! Yep. And, uh... <laughs> and God. <laughs> My name is Moji, and I'll be voicing Ilfado de Rie, Akira Mikaro, Kororo, and Titania. And I'm Brevi, and I voice Miser, Canis, and no spoilers, Mikado's assistant. Oh yeah, we don't want, we don't want to spoil anyone on the <laughs> we Miser We don't know route. who he is! <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Oh my god! I've sorry. Sorry. never heard of that person before. Oh, and also, um, wait, Moji and Matcha, you have new characters. I voice oh, most. Yeah, you do. Yeah, want to say who they are? I voice young demon. Yep. <laughs> and I voice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, but anyway, we're not gonna we're not gonna go directly into the um thing because while I was uh setting up the save file, I noticed there was like a couple, like this happened with Lupin too, but we didn't do this. But like. After you unlock the main boy, you get extra scenes in the common route. And I thought it'd be fun because there's only there's only two scenes that were added for Miser. And they're pretty short. So we're just gonna do those yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But before that, we're gonna do the prologue. Let's go to pro let's do the prologue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's start with two milk. Let's go. Whoa. It's prologue five. Yay! Yay! Diego, Edis. Purple. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> and a story to say. The story. What's so funny is. Yeah, why, why are you laughing so much? Is this funny to you, sir? Is this funny to you? <laughs> the wind brushes the infinite colorless world like a breath. When he leaves, I'll be alone again. I, I'm I'm here now, me personally. And if he returns, I'm cer certain that I would have all I would have for him is apathy. Yeah, that's yeah. great. This is unfair. If he was saved, I should have been saved as well. That's why I continued to hope, and I keep re kept reaching out. If I can't reach now, I just need to reach out further. Then, little by little, the hand I've reached out with, it will at last reach her. Me, personally. Or two milk. F finally, I found you. Anything else, game? 
No. <laughs> Gave him anything else for- Okay, no. no okay. Nope. All right. After we're done here, we can switch over to the next scene I have. It's got to show us every single face <laughs> we've ever made. I know. Okay. Um, so this is like near the beginning of the common route. And we can go hang out with Miser. Oh, wow. Yep. What a Miser. Yep. Let's see how Miser's doing. Uh, this is just like a daily, like, this is like the first scene that we got. I'm trying to remember, like, what was happening around this point in the common route, but, like, we're just, like, doing hangout stuff. Doing bad we'll job at Coffee Beans. I'm, I'm <laughs> doing a great job. All right, Miser was saying he would be in charge of the drinks. I was sure he'd be by the table preparing lots of delicious coffees. Are they getting oh, ready yeah, for this, that tea party? Th this is what, th this is the scene where, like, we hang out with Ignis and he hands us a steak. Oh my god! Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh my god, Mon's like on it. Ma Mon knows everything. <laughs> With that assumption, I headed down to the cafe. However... Huh? He's not here. Maybe he went to the convenience store to get drinks other than coffee? What troubles you two, Luke? Is something the matter? I turned towards a voice that called to me to find Canna standing there, carrying a large amount of items. He did say he was in charge of snacks. I'm sure he was on his way back from a trip to the store for ingredients. I came to see how Miser was doing, but I don't see him anywhere. Ah, uh, I had seen Miser walk toward the gate just a short while ago. Did my one trip impress you? Oh, oh, you have so many things in your arms. I'm so impressed, Canis. Thank what you about, too much. What about the gate, though? Well, I too was a bit curious about what caused him to do so. Perhaps something in the demon world. Recently, Miser seems to be spending much time in that room. I see. Thanks for letting me know, Canis. Canis assured me it was no trouble and began heading to the kitchen, where Ignis is cooking steak. I wonder if Miser's still standing in front of the gate right uh, now. Hey, <laughs> you want a steak? <laughs> yeah, I want a I steak, I love please. steak, thank you. Yeah. Uh, here. Hey, Maybe I should take over the drinks if this is a bad time for him, and Ignis, apparently. Ah. <laughs> that in mind, I step into a room I hadn't visited in a while, with the gate inside it. Hmm? There was Miser, gazing at the plate hanging on the gate, the one that read closed. His head was tilted, he looked puzzled. Though it seemed like he wasn't intending on heading back into the demon world, Miser? Hmm? Oh, it's you. Sorry to worry you. I walked away from my post without saying anything. Well, that's okay. Is something wrong with the gate? No, nothing at all. Nothing's wrong, but... But... Well, it's just that when I passed by here earlier, I thought I heard a strange noise. Huh. Hmm. Miser falls silent, staring back at the gate. I began to stare at it as well, but I couldn't see anything wrong with it. The plate read closed. I believe that means no one could have come in from an outside world. I'm sure he had thought the same thing. With that, the expression of Miser's face began to fade quickly. Well, <laughs> must be my imagination. Let's get back to the cafe, too, Milk. Time to make up for lost time. Would you like a hand? I mean, you're up for pouring coffee, right? I'd like to learn a, learn a little more from you. A little, huh? <laughs> I think there's a, a lot little. for you to learn. No, That's I'm good. That's a great suggestion. Mm. We'll need to make a trip to the store first. We need to make sure we have soft drinks. We leave the gate to our back, smiling as we exit the room. Ellipses. To be sure, I glance back at the gate. Really, knowing there was nothing there, I close the door without hesitation. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Right. Okay, oh. game. <laughs> all that's right. not ominous. <laughs> that's not ominous at all. Anyway, next scene. Oh, that was anyway. it. Anyway, yeah. Um, this is um, this is later on. This is like the chapter when Eel, like Eel's trying to cheer to milk up, and is like. 
one of y'all should take two milk on a, out on a date. And we went on a date with the... Oh. I forget who we, we dated. Initially. Rindo. Did we? We went on a car ride. Oh! Yeah, this the car yeah. ride? <laughs> At, this might have been the car ride. Um, but, but anyway, we're gonna relax while reading a book. I've read most of the books that I have here. I have enough time, though. I'll reread one. With that thought, I tried pulling out a handful of books. Hmm, I still remember what's in all these. Wow. I was looking through the books on the shelf when I heard a soft knock on the door. Yeah, come in. Hey, two milk. Er, huh? Am I interrupting your reading? Oh, no, not at all. I was thinking of reading a book, but... I've read everything here, so I'm just wondering what I should do. Huh. You've read all of these books? <laughs> you're a bookworm too, aren't you? Bookworm too? Alright, you're usually yeah. reading a book when you're having your coffee, huh? <laughs> Indeed. I mostly read small pocket books, but depending on my mood, sometimes I read books throughout the entire day. Hey. I have a suggestion for you. If you're looking for something to read, why don't you come find some books with me? Huh? Miser took me to a place I'd never, be never been. A used bookstore in the shopping district. It looked nostalgic and smelled of old paper. It wasn't a big store by any means, but it held a great many books. My heart started racing, looking at this world stacked high with words. Uh huh? <laughs> I never knew a used bookstore was here. A lot of people have digital books now, but I always prefer the feel of paper. <laughs> yeah, I get it. The smell of paper is relaxing. Two milk. Since we're here, let's find and grab whatever books we want. Yeah. A miser's suggestion I headed straight for the shelves with any and everything related to mythological stories. Grandpa's book ha had an influence on me. Recently, I've been completely engrossed by this genre. Oh, this book was sold out online. And this one was so expensive that I held off on buying it. Who knew it'd be so cheap? It was a mountain of treasure to me. Caught in the moment, I continued picking up book after book, and then... She just like me for real for real at the bookstore. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, wow. We've got quite a bit here. I'm glad we have a big table. After buying the hey. ones that interested us. My stakes! <laughs> oh, no. sorry. Sorry, Ignis. We went back yeah. right back to Enchante and smashed the steak. Wait a minute. Why were your steaks all steak. over the table? <laughs> it's like tartar. Oh. There. Our treasure. Way to look on the bright side, Eel. <laughs> we're piled high up on the table on top of the steak. <laughs> Maybe we went a little overboard. I'm sorry, Ignis. We'll cook more for you. It's not like we can okay. read it all right now. How did you one trip so many books, Miser? <laughs> it's called skill. We'll <laughs> just write down everything we have. Also, we should wait for those on the bottom to, you know, dry off and everything. <laughs> I, mo I move the pile of books and steak to the side and sit across from Miser. Hmm. Looking at the lineup you have here, it would seem you favor stories of fantasy. Yeah, I mean, I read all sorts of things, but I always come back to these. Oh, and the books, the space books he read, Miser are mystery not about novels. Space. <laughs> I mean, mystery <laughs> novels, right? There you go. That's right, good eye. I like modern mystery novels, but... I guess I'm more interested in the classic works of the genre throughout the times. In particular, no. the Herlock, I'm sorry, Sherlock Holmes series by Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, whoa. Is Herlock here? Oh, I know of that series, at least. The great detective Sherlock Holmes and his partner John H. Watson, do you recognize one of the silhouettes here? Oh my god. No, no fucking way. Me. Holy I can't. That's I fucking love this hilarious. Game so much. And I believe that's the so so John Watson is in one of the fan discs for Kid Realize. It is so him. yep. <laughs> that's so goddamn funny. hilarious. It's so funny. Their stories revolve around the pair solving all sorts of crimes and mysteries. And even uh Maurice LeBlanc, 
the author of the series of The Gentlemanly Thief, Lupin, wow. and films appear in his oh. works, which is a big deal at the time. A detective made out to be the arch rival. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> Within these pages. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Within these stories, the holder of genius intellect, Alistair, I'm sorry, James yep. Moriarty, also known as the Napoleon of crime. There's no fucking way. Yep. Oh yes, he is real nice. How cunning and calculating he is. Is Thank he? You. <laughs> oh, sometimes I can hear his voice in my mind oh. as if he were real or maybe in an alternate world. I'd love to recruit him into my demon lord army. He okay. seems like a bitch. <laughs> I hope you rethink that idea. I don't think I'd want him around. Excuse you! <laughs> I think he's already seeping into our Did you close the door, Tomuk? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait he's, a minute. Why didn't I deal with Moriarty in the story? <laughs> <laughs> he's already an insanely powerful demon lord. He'd be unstoppable if he did that. A lot of new customers today. <laughs> so, what are you, what are you going to reading to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know what I'm going to, going to reading today. Oh, there's a lot here, but I think this one catches my eye. A love story set yeah. within the times of Greek mythology. It catches your eye like a ribeye steak. <laughs> yeah, it sure does, Ignis. So it's this. Story where a goddess and a human boy fall in love. Doesn't it, it doesn't just have a crazy plot, but it's popular because of all the psychology involved, and their romance is written in such detail. I'm sure it's not unusual in these myths for humans and gods to fall in love. But that's just how we read them. It's a love tell not only by two people, but when across species. It must have been hard. I I space wanna know how it act. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, I was rambling. No, no, it's perfectly fine. Stories have a way of connecting to us that we couldn't cut if we wanted to. It's why you like them. Huh? We mentioned it in passing before, right? Canis, for example, his existence had been passed down to the stories of the Dullahan. And stories of demons and angels might have appeared because of contact via gates and wormholes connecting to Mayan eels' worlds. Can you imagine the curiosity you'd have about how people on the other side view us? Ah, I see. And also, your interest in these stories, I'm glad I understand your passion for them. It's always nice to have something that you can just lose yourself in. I wouldn't go that far. This really is just a hobby for me. There's something amazing about a hobby. Maybe it's because I've lived for so long, but I do tire of things easily. Who knows how long these mystery novels I'm into right now will last. That's right. Misers live much longer than the others. That said, he's probably done all sorts of things that normal people try. I'm sure it'd be hard to stick with a single hobby for something someone like him. So, maybe the day will come when I'll be able to feel the same rush as you do from these fantastical stories. When that time comes, what? I hope you'll recommend me some books. <laughs> will you do that for me? What the <laughs> fuck? Let's say it. Senpai? Ha ha ha. Senpai? Yeah, I, I don't know why I said that either. I'm so sorry. That sounds really strange, Miser. It does. It does. I regret it instantly, yes. You're always my teacher when it comes to anything related to coffee. Why does it taste like shit, then? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm a great teacher. She's not a great student. No offense, Two Milk. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I'm perfecting it. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know. Sure are. It's just, it's a long process. I a laugh. Long process. Holding my voice down so it doesn't bother anyone else around us. Because we have so many new customers today. <laughs> We're smiles. really busy. <laughs> yeah. Miser smiles at me in satisfaction for some reason. <laughs> it's nice to talk to you about something other than coffee when it's... Uh, well, it's not really quiet. There's a bunch of people. You should really go talk to them. 
<laughs> no, I, oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> nice, I don't want to talk to that one. He he scares me. I'll take care of that one. Okay. Talk to anyone else. Okay. Now, where can I find a place with so many old men bar? I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong place, buddy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's down the block. Get out of here. <laughs> the old man, the old drinking man conventions across the block. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it gets noisy when everyone else is here and all these new people. Well, I do enjoy the liveliness, though, sometimes. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've held a conversation like that about, about books. I'm glad we did that then. I invited you randomly today, but will we have another chance? May I invite you again? Of course. I'd like to hear more of your favorite books next time. After that, we spent our time reading books and ignoring all the crowd of people that wandered in. Ignoring them? This is just throwing steaks out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, God! So many people today. Yeah. And at times, taking breaks, talking about them until we had our fill, and all the customers had their fill of steaks. We actually didn't spend too much time talking as we were reading. But the time I spent with Miser was quiet. It felt so calming. Alright, now we can go to the... Okay. N now we can go to the route. That was but, fantastic. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys that, those two, especially when I saw the code realized so was. I was like, I gotta put... I gotta... Yeah. I gotta have <laughs> I, a save. That was amazing. <laughs> I could like kind of recognize Herlock, but the Moriarty one was just so fucking obvious. <laughs> it was it was one to one. Like that's the first thing I noticed because I was just like, oh, those are weird silhouettes. Wait a minute, <laughs> Alistair. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. I know that guy. <laughs> Ellipses. Wait, that's Miser. <laughs> that was my ellipses. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone was ellipsing that wasn't me. <laughs> they were quiet. <laughs> I saw Miser back turned towards me sitting at the counter. Miser? I didn't expect to see you here, ellipsing. You're usually in the demon world by now. After I called him, Miser turns to me, his robe waving as if to greet me as well. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Oh, Stu Milk. Hi! Well, here I am. I felt like hanging around until the very last minute today. You know, there was that weird phenomenon where you were pulled into the gate, right? Yeah, we haven't um, explained that yet. It's kind of weird, huh? Ah, oh, it's it's weird. I just thought I'd say what's up and maybe stand guard for a little bit. I see. I appreciate you being concerned. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, right. I came down to pour myself some warm milk, but would you like anything, Miser? Like some coffee? From you? No, no. I mean, that'd be great. Thank you. Hey, since you're here... Can I try the special blend you promised me earlier? The one only you can make. What? Oh, of course. Of course, certainly. Oh, I'm gonna regret this, but... But I really am still testing it out. Are you sure you want to try? Oh, God, of course. It's your own coffee that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, isn't it? <laughs> I won't let anyone else have the honor of being able to taste something so splendid. <laughs> Why are you grabbing one of my steaks? <laughs> it's Why is there a uh, hold on, wait, the hold on a second. <laughs> something so amazing, but okay, I'll try to make you the best cup I can. Like, Ignis, do you also want some? <laughs> to uh, hear? No. I'm gonna take my steak to my bed. Thanks. <laughs> okay. No, you get back here. You left that in the coffee grounds. <laughs> no, that was dew milk. <laughs> I smelled and I went to boil some some water. Miser suddenly calls out to me, stopping me. Uh, can you wait a minute? I've actually got a request. A request? Yeah. That blend. Could you pour it into this mug and try to keep the blood to a minimum? With the snap of his fingers appeared a coffee cup that perfectly fit in his hands. It looked fairly old, with several small scuffs on its surface. <laughs> Those aren't just scuffs, too, <laughs> Milk. What, what's this? It's like, what's it fall apart? <laughs> it's, it's my own personal mug, I guess. 
Some people have bowling balls. Dart steps. I have a mug. Just this one mug. My single ball. mug collection. <laughs> As a self-proclaimed coffee fanatic, I'm particular about drinking vessels too. It's a spray of shitty coffee. <laughs> Only the best mug for <laughs> yours to milk. It looks just like an ordinary mug to me, but is it actually expensive? Oh. Hmm. Well, if it cracked uh. more, <laughs> the world would be annihilated by this demon lord's rage. It's a little one too One more crack. <laughs> one more, and it's fucking over. What? Hey guys, I wanted to practice my opera singing today. Oh no! <laughs> Get down! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But still, it's something precious to me. So, I'd be happy if you'd treat it gently. Very gently, please. I was about to tell him he should leave it here if it was so precious to him, but... His eyes were filled with kindness as they looked at me in the mug. He's so just it's... testing it. <laughs> yeah. So deciding that saying so might be insensitive, I quietly nod. However, the idea that this mug was something that powerful demon lord kept so preciously, it wouldn't disappear from my mind. Don't be a plot point, don't be a plot point, don't be I a hope point. I don't get nervous <laughs> and break it! Oh, oh my no. god, two milk! What if my hands were shaking and couldn't pour the coffee into it correctly? Oh my god! Oh my god, girl! <laughs> well... If it happens, it happens. It is precious to me. So, so precious. <laughs> but it is still a consumable product, after all. Yeah, yeah, but it's your only mug out of your mug collection. It is my <laughs> only single mug Wait, in my one eat... mug collection. You eat mugs? <laughs> anyway, what? so just relax and use it as my own special mug. Uh, okay, if you say so, miser. Don't be a plot point, God, please. <laughs> be the biggest plot point. Holding against the pressure, I pour the warm milk into my own cup and the special blend of demisers. I try it over and over. It just ingratiates little by little. I finally begin to see the cup I pour take shape. What? I'm still far what? from able to hold pride in its completion, <laughs> but this is the best cup I can. It's just coffee! Two Bro. milk! Um. <laughs> Here you go. Unable to hide my considerable anxiety or my movements becoming very stiff, I give Miser the coffee. Um, how much steak did you put in this, two milk? <laughs> um, how much is two? Oh, that answers my question, thanks. <laughs> Miser, who takes his Die. cup in his hand, <laughs> while slowly taking in the room, begins Would to you... drink. It's a plot point. Would you like to it. learn about my one mug? <laughs> A mug given to the heroine by Miser. At a glance, it seems to be an ordinary old coffee cup, but it seems quite important. Oh boy, the plot boy. Oh no. A mug us. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That's disgusting. I, I mean, <laughs> this is well done. The steak? It's so, it's so. Oh, the steak is great, it was thanks. <laughs> no, the coffee it's well is... done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the, the coffee, it just it hits me right in the heart. Uh, good, I'm I'm glad you like it. Like that like, was all like about I the can coffee, feel it right? clogging. I can I can feel it clogging my arteries, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's meant to do. Uh, uh, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Great. It, it it's it's to help the, the humors. What the fuck are you saying? Okay, <laughs> seriously, it, it really is good. I feel like I can drink this coffee for quite a while. It will take me about five years to digest it, so... <laughs> oh, oh, don't, don't overdo it. I still think there's a lot I can improve on with this blend. I drink my warm milk as well <laughs> and enjoy a peaceful conversation with Miser. That's right, Miser, about the gate. Were you able to find out anything else? Uh, no, nothing. I looked into it myself, but... Well, it's eerie how quiet it is. That actually makes it more suspicious. Huh? It's like... This isn't exactly a metaphor you'd use on a door, but... 
I get this impression. It pretends to be nice and subservient when anyone else but you comes by. What? <laughs> what kind of metaphor is this, Miser? Well, it's not when you use on a door, but <laughs> after all that's happened, I feel it wouldn't be strange if there was some sort of remnants left behind. Yeah, I suppose that's true. It's almost as if the gate itself has a mind of its own, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Man, this door's <laughs> freaky. Well, or there's something in another world that's behind it. Hmm. It would be wise to avoid the gate for a little while, definitely late at night, but especially if you're alone. I got it. I'll be careful. Even I wouldn't want to ha go through that same experience again. But I really am glad you were there, in that place I got sent to. It was thanks to you that the wormhole at the island was dealt with. Hmm. Hey, what do you think that wormhole was, really? Everyone was saying it was different from the ones that are usually out there, right? I casually aired out my comment while taking a sip of my warm milk. Uh... The one thing I can say is that there... Uh, that world... It's a place that cannot exist in the human world. And yet... Why? Why did it appear at a place like that? As Miser talked with a troubled look on his face, I thought back to this spar... Spar toy that appeared, that giant arm. Remember, guys, the giant arm? Ellipses. Oh, yeah. Here comes uh -huh. the giant Ellipses. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck a spar toy is. <laughs> it's There's a Spartan big toy. Big skeleton, man. Oh, right. I mean, wasn't the spar toy like the, the clay pot dudes? Oh, was that the spar toy? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And the skeletons uh... were just the skeletons. Oh, right. Yeah. Skeletons? Uh -huh. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> rattle me bones! Those things uh, were- rattle them, boy! <laughs> Without a doubt, a real threat to those living in this world. But... Where are we flashing back to? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are we confused who what this is? <laughs> it's Pfizer! I don't know if he's screaming. I think someone oh. else is screaming. Ah! Thank you, chorus of the dance. <laughs> Why was it just that? <sighs> I don't know. Now that we are back safely, I recall the moment. That noise when the arm crumbled. It felt kind of like a chorus of screams. Oh, that was perfect, actually. Yeah. <laughs> With no will of its own, I'm not even sure it's non-human. It was just a hollow being, and yet... It seemed... sad. I felt it too. His miser closed his eyes. He murmured with a lonely tone in his voice. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't worry, big boy. Anyway. We'll, we'll fix the loneliness unless you die. <laughs> No matter what strange things happen- Okay, we gotta wrap up the common route. The morning will always find its way to greet us the next day. Uh, whoa! To provide hospitality in those, mo those mornings and the day to inevitably follow is my duty. Yes, for those who are human and those who aren't. Even skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps going through me. Right through me! <gasps> Hello! Welcome to Cafe Enchante, Mr. Her Herlock Sholmes! Ah, yes, I, uh, <laughs> forgot how I sound. No matter who my guest is, I'll always greet them with a kind smile. Where memories and the aroma of coffee fill the room in this strange and sprightly cafe. Is this my new safe house? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of here. Can't leave. <laughs> All right, Miser Rao. But you said kind smile. Oh shit, we're there. Miser Rao. Wow. Miser Rao. Rao. Miser How much of a Miser really is he really? Okay. Oh god. Well, it's a mystery. Here we go. Starting off strong. <laughs> Ellipses. Ellipses. Oh yeah. Who, who the fuck? Who's the puppy? Is it? Puppy, we know who this is. Who could this be? Miser. I'll I'll take it for now. I'm oh, sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I wake up with a throbbing pain in my hand. 
Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. No. More accurately, I wasn't asleep. I didn't actually feel pain. Whether burned by a demon beast's flames, or cut apart by a black knight's sword, or pierced by a fallen angel's light. <laughs> Mirror, you're getting a lot of feedback. Oh, I am? Just FYI, yeah. Okay. I, apostrophe, wouldn't feel pain after all this time. That's right. Exactly right. Pain and suffering. Feeling such things is nothing more than the distant past for me now. Oh god. That's why. <laughs> Car trip by my house. <laughs> the misery of my voice not reaching her. The despair of my hand being turned away. The difficulty breathing. I don't know if this I, is me. But I don't okay. think this is this miser. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> shit. It's okay. I'll, I'll slightly change it. Okay. <laughs> The difficulty breathing when I saw his face as he happily spoke to her. H of her. His apostrophe face. His apostrophe face as mm -hmm. he happily spoke of her. Oh. I oh. shouldn't feel anything. Oh, uh, what the fuck? I'm back, uh, everyone. <laughs> you who? Uh, uh, hey! You will, he hey. Whoa, it's been bustling today. We started tasting the new menu items. But Canis has a dull sense of taste. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't even have a head or a face, but Agnes uh. doesn't care. Agnes doesn't care anything what? besides steak. <laughs> oh, Il and Kyrie are picky eaters. So me and Rindo were the only ones able to give a decent evaluation. First off, I ate way too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, without waiting for a reply from anyone, relaxes his cheeks and starts talking. Uh huh. The same. <laughs> so I remember when I crashed my car and then. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Whoa! The same story he's told countless times. With the gentle aroma of coffee <laughs> wafting about, he talks about a girl who owns a cafe where a great variety of non-humans hang around. No matter how badly I yearn, I can't reach it. He speaks about a different, distant world. These days, she's growing used to running on Chante. She really is such an odd girl. On the surface, you'd think she would be just an average human. But no matter when, no matter who comes, she's there at the counter. For any non-human visiting from another world, she welcomes them with a smile. She gives us a warm place to belong. Uh-huh. Extra ellipses. Oh. Uh. Oh. Each time I hear the story, my chest throbs. Why? Why is he the only one saved? He's a liar. With unforgivable falsehoods, he covers up his body, a traitor who has no possible salvation. Yet, why it was only him? Why? What's different? Why? What did I do wrong? Why? What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> why? 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 Oh! Why can it be me who gets to visit Anjante and smile? Oh! I oh. think I know who this might be. <laughs> huh. Maybe, but... <laughs> Maybe. We're, we're, all, we're already <laughs> on this train. <laughs> Drawn by a sound, I look up at the sky. With a sharp creak, the sky cracks and something falls far off. 
Seeing a little smoke rise in the distance, he looks over towards it. Oh, another guest? Lately, there have been a lot more. Spar toy incident. The arms incident. <laughs> God, that arm. I looked into it quite a bit, but in the end, found nothing. It's my homeland, yet all the unknowns are troubling. As he says this, I watch his back as he walks off. I say with a voice that will reach nobody. I've tried countless times to reach you. I've tried countless times to speak. I've tried countless times to seek you. Yet, as expected, he doesn't even notice my voice, and he doesn't turn to face me. Hmm. Hmm. I already know. As long as I am me, the day of salvation will never come. That's right. As long as I am me. Oh, it looks like a face. <laughs> It looks like a little face. <laughs> little <laughs> face. I apostrophe you. The, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll get it next time, watch. <laughs> yeah. I what for you? Oh man, oh. he's shirtless. <laughs> I really need a shirt uh, to you. Oh oh, hello. Hey. Hey, do you have a spare shirt? That guy Sorry. really needs it. Oh, okay. Mine's wow. only half what? there anyway. Another? So. Another one? Uh, under the okay. investigation of GPM among the countless other worlds said to exist, much like the Beast World Bestia with its warlord meritocracy, there's a world still shrouded in mystery with a demon king holding dominion over a singul singular social order. The demon world. Asmodia. In the center sits the fortress of the Demon King, known as the Demon King Castle. In its hall, the heads of each house gather, meeting and speaking to each other face to face. <laughs> hey! Uh, did you hear the village on the outskirts of the desert of no return vanished? Demon B? Didn't hear that one? A wild dragon called it, hun. You idiot! I said it vanished. It wasn't destroyed in an attack. It disappeared without a trace overnight. Just completely, as though it was plucked out of land and all. What? Oh no! Not again! A village around there just disappeared last week. A masculine giant with four arms, a demon with a lion's face and twisted horns. The demons of various forms speak only of one subject in chorus. Cryptic fissures appeared with an earthquake, the land around them sucked in, destroyed. The disasters occur across the demon world, and everyone grimaces at the news. At this rate, none we in grave danger. What's the demon king say about it? Ah, uh, about that. According to the rumors. Then, when the other demon begins to speak... Take heed! <laughs> oh! The Demon King's aide enters the hall and raises his voice to the gathered demons. As you all know, Demon World Asmodia is now facing a crisis. Constant fissures forming in space. The villagers... Villages sucked in and annihilated have now exceeded ten. I can count in number. Whoa! Really? The large hall. Yes, I can count. News. Oh, well, we can well. count. After acknowledging the tiles, he continues his announcement. However, do not worry. To face this unprecedented situation, the Demon King has made a decision. Ahead of the demon world's destruction, we shall seek a new land and another world. Miser, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, we're going to invade another world. Who are we, the US of A? 
I mean, hey, I'm up for an invasion, but like, uh, where will we attack? The heads gathered in the hall to erupt at the sudden declaration. Perhaps hearing their responses, the Demon King's aide speaks sternly. The Demon King has said the heavenly world is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spooky. It is. So, pass. The fairy world has no wormhole. Uh, the beast world, I can't handle the cold. It's so cold there. Uh, I, uh, I see, uh, sounds like the Demon King, all right, uh. He's very frank about it. Oh, damn. The fairy world's got no hole. <laughs> <laughs> no hole? But, like, what... What about the other worlds? Our target has already been decided. A world with not much space as ours. With inhabitants that seem... Pretty weak. When one we can get to pretty... Easily, our target is the human world. What now, brave demon warriors, sharpen your claws and raise your tails and doggers. Wait, is that a <laughs> euphemism or something? Yeah. No, I it literally yeah. said doggers, demon A. Oh, so it's literal, huh? Yeah, anyway, they don't call me demon A for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You've let your guard oh down your guard, foolish humans. Not knowing it was all part of my plot, your belief in me to be your friend was the height of foolishness. Are you reading a book? Two exclamation points. You, you lie. I, I can't believe it. To think you were the Demon King. Are they playing D&D? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. You were a fool, hero Kororo. Your trusting heart has killed your friend, Playboy Rindo. <laughs> they play D and D ellipses. Ellipses. <laughs> um. In the lazy Saturday sunlight, today's customers are currently one pair: a demon king and an angel. <laughs> you two. Sorry for the interruption, but um, we're bringing your order over right now. So could you pause your game for a while? The two were gazing at a game console, oh. but I speak to them. Huh? Oh, it's ready already? Thanks. Hmm. It seems the faster observation of time while playing games is the same phenomenon, regardless of the genre. The two were excited reading the excitedly reading the game, allowed to put their play on pause as I asked. Here we are. You float, you. Let's take it. And Miser's usual blend has taken it. Here. Along with Kyrie, a very good helper now. We place the items in front of the two. Hey, you're. Oh. You're making a lot of noise. What game are you even playing? Uh, for one of the Atoma games that Eel likes, the content seems kind of unsettling, didn't it? <laughs> this is actually an RPG aimed at women. It was released just the other day. It has romance components, allowing you to swoon anyone, and everyone that you want, from the villagers to the monsters, any character. The monsters? Even the monster fuckers will be happy. What? Rune Factory. Rune Factory? That does sound like a really adventurous game in many ways. <laughs> That's too many options, though. Is that even manageable? Q. 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 Although the origin of the Hero Koro name seems to be happy at the part as part of the cast. I heard it had a Demon King character, so I asked to try it a little bit myself, and it's surprisingly interesting. Demon King does as he pleases. He can trick and sneak attack friends, or even curse lakes and turn them lakes of death. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Are you playing Dark Upon oh. Kingdom? <laughs> hmm. How would you even develop a romance with someone like that? Suddenly, Eel, who seemed to be saving the game data, raises his head. Y yes but this game's Demon King is truly evil. He's atrocious. Uh, that's my impression of him, at least. 
Compared to him, Miser doesn't seem like much of a demon king. <laughs> what? No way. I'm shocked. Am I really that dignified? Hmm, not really written it. I don't know about dignified, but you're right. Doesn't uh, he seem atrocious at all, does it? Does he? He sa says kind of unsettling things sometimes, but that's just Miser's sense of humor. He's usually just a carefree demon king, as he seems right now. As he seems right now! <laughs> Although I, I know really well that he has ridiculous power. For example... Eel's route. Eel's route. Back to... At Amasaki Island, near my hometown where the Kirei tribe lives, the big incident the other day when a fissure opened in the sky above the island and its bony Sparta- Oh, the, I guess the Spartoi are the skeletons, sorry, I mixed them up. Appeared. There's no mistake that it was resolved thanks to Miser's power. With everyone's help, that form he took playing that beautiful tune. It was less like a demon king, and more like something divine. Thinking back on it now, that musical performance was beautiful. What can I do for you? BBB. Hem. Kyrie tilted his head at me as I, as I thought. Um, I was just thinking about what happened. About Amasaki Island. Ah, uh, Aniwana? Yeah, yeah, in, in that end, in the end, I never figured out the reason why the gate suddenly threw me out there. Or the true identity of the Spartoi or the arm that we saw there, you know, the giant fucking arm? Maybe it's because it was so too shocking. Even now I see it in my dreams. <laughs> oh. A giant fissure cut into the sky, and as though reaching for something, those creepy arms. <laughs> Perhaps noticing my face turn a little, a little pale. Hmm. There haven't been any abnormalities after that. I understand you're concerned, but you don't need to worry so much. What the hell? GPM deployed staff to that island, and they've been investigating it. If they find anything, Rindo will tell us. Yeah, I think so too. Nothing good will come out of it. Thinking about things we don't understand. Don't think. Don't I think. never don't understand. Think. Don't think. With Miser's cue, everyone smiles at me like this. But considering his notice of such a small change in me, Miser doesn't seem really seem like an evil demon king at all. Yeah, thanks. I smile as I think this. As everyone said, that incident is already resolved. I need to change my mood. I just get over it. Just smile. Just smile. Just, just, just stop stop being sad. Huh? Right as I had this thought, the utensils set on the table start to clatter on their own. That moment. The shop shakes violently. Oh, we're getting right into this. Uh, the tremor is so big it's hard to stay standing. Uh huh? Uh -huh. Chairs, tables, shelves, everything dances in unison. The tremor shakes my body. The furniture jumps as if it's possessed. I can't endure the shaking anymore, and I'm about to fall over. Okay, calm down. Miser lightly snaps his fingers. The furniture that was dancing around so much suddenly stops moving like it was all a lie. At the same time, my body feels gently supported by something I can't see, and my accident is avoided. Huh, that was such a shock. Thanks, Miser. You're welcome. Or so he must have thought. Miser sips his coffee like nothing at all happened. Then, Kyrie, who had escaped into the air with Eel, lands while nervously looking around. Okay, was really big. Yeah, thanks to Miser, nothing in the shop broke, but... Who knows about other places? You know, just in case, we might want to look around. Then I'll check the kitchen for the steaks. Don't worry about the gaslight. Yeah, please do. Being familiar with its layout, Kyrie disappears into the kitchen, then. Are you okay, Eel? My body has no injuries. I was floating in the air with Kyrie. Okay, that's good to hear. But I have another concern for you, Eel. Do you think your room might be a total disaster now? Like you're... Mountains of Goods, your Code Realize Shrine. What? <laughs> Eel's face instantly goes pale and he flies off to his room. 
All right, then. Should we go look outside? It would be dangerous if any pots broke. My figures! <laughs> Luckily, the earthquake didn't warp the door and make it unopenable. With Miser's help, I pushed the door, door leading outside. Along with the bright sunlight, what jumped into our sight was... Uh... What? <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> As it ripped by a claw, a crack <laughs> running through the ground? That's more than the ground. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we're, we're getting directly into the plot, aren't we? Uh, my eyes go wide and I hold my breath. You're... you're kidding. And that was a big earthquake, but for a crack like this to form... Do you look in... Uh, no, that's not it. Huh? Uh, look, look at it, Two Milk. This is only <laughs> a crack in the ground. But it, it's it, glowing! <laughs> You know, sometimes, sometimes earthquakes do that. What? Sometimes, sometimes it does that. Much like before. No, with far more strength than a, the big earthquake or, earlier, Miser pulls me to his chest. That moment, in this space where I was right before Miser pulled me. <laughs> what is that? Hello. Uh, uh, is could it be could it be the the, the shirtless man? It might be the sh um. It's probably the other half shirtless. Man. Hmm. <laughs> That's my name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mon, you start voicing. <laughs> uh, Let's go, Mon. Uh, C B I E less uh, greater than K question mark. With the groan, what looks like an undead hand crawls out. Ah! That was. While totally different inside, just like what I saw in Amasaki Island. Just before the fingertips reach me. Don't touch her. Miser immediately Whoa. swings his hand and blows the arm away. Uh, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Oh no, it's tweeting. <laughs> oh no. With a cacophony, the arm disappears and the fissure there on the ground slowly begins to close. All I can do is stare in confused silence. Um. That, that, just now. An arm like we saw on Amasaki Island, uh, right? More like what? Armasaki Island now. <laughs> yeah, uh, why did that appear in front of Enchanté? Miser? Uh oh. <laughs> Secret of us always. <laughs> Who wants to be the newscaster? On, <laughs> on to our next story. Train routes will be disrupted due to the earthquake today around 1430. Whoa, whoa. Everything on is about the earthquake. It was a very large earthquake after all. Luckily, there was almost no damage here, except for that, you know, giant crack in the ground. But it's fine, it's fine. Indeed. I was playing with the kids from the neighborhood at the time, and it was troubling when some began to cry. <laughs> the kids in the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, there's children? We were playing b-ball. The dole head? The the do what? <laughs> we were playing b-ball with my helmet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Some of the precious goods in my room had fallen over. A grieving eel stares into a tablet he holds as everyone exchanges words. That night, after the sudden earthquake, all the regulars had been in the human world at the time, and they all had a taste of the intense shaking. After distributing some post-meal coffee and juice to everyone, I was also watching the news myself. <laughs> when it goes to commercial, I sit next to Miser, in a position where I can see the tablet. So, did you really see one of those arms from back from Amasaki Island? Hands you an Amasaki steak. Yeah, it disappeared really quickly, so I have no proof, but... I saw it, along with her. There's no mistaking it. A mysterious wormhole and an arm from Amazaki Island appeared at this shop. This is too convenient to be a coincidence. Ellipses. As though everyone thought the same thing, pondering silence runs between all of us. 
As though interrupting the silence, the commercials end. The newscaster on the screen re resumes the news. Ah, we brought on a pro. Uh, wait, we brought on a professor. Yeah, shit. <laughs> we brought on a professor to. Uh huh. <laughs> to expertise in today's earthquake. Let's speak to him right away. Doctor, you've been saying that today's earthquake has characteristics that have never been seen. Yes, we were <laughs> quite surprised. One could say that such a thing has never been observed before in history. And from the sounds of your voice, you've certainly experienced a lot of history. <laughs> <laughs> I presume everyone knows this, but normally, earthquakes occur due to stresses in the plates of the Earth's delicious crust. Just like it does in your crusty wrinkles. Hey. Hey. Come on. This earthquake of hope could be no plate movement, and the seismic waves created by the earthquake display abnormal numbers, like 69! <laughs> so there you have it! This wasn't a normal earthquake? There you have it, 69. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yes! As a scientist, I'm not sure if this expression is quite correct, but the entire world itself is shook. That's the impression that I have. <laughs> oh no, can we get a can we get a paramedic onto the scene? Please, uh, please, please. <laughs> He's dying. Cut, 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 cut oh, the that camera. Kind of nasty. <laughs> Quite a bold opinion for a dying scientist. It was very <laughs> scientific. Oh very, very. Yeah, this is coming from the headless knight whose whole existence is unscientific, Nyan. Mm, well, in regards to that. I am certain the existence of demons, angels, and non-humans non falls under that category. As everyone exchanges jokes, what what I think about, of course, is the incident on Amasaki, Amasaki Island. Armasaki Island. <laughs> before it was near my hometown. But this time, it was in front of the shop. It's as though this phenomenon has some connection to mm. me. A vague sense of unease fills my chest, like something frightening is slowly getting closer. Terrible premonitions swirl around in my mind. Like being voiced by Yuri Lalento. Oh no. Ah. Uh... What? <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh... After I finish washing the last cup, I sigh. I thought today would just be a normal day. Oh, beans. With the frizz? No, no way! way! But suddenly, all the conversations became scary. It's almost like we saw a giant crack in the front yard. <laughs> Back at Amasaki Island, that abnormal event happened in the sky, and it was at a comfortable distance. I was more surprised than anything, so I wasn't terrified the same way. But seeing that arm again, directly and up close, it makes me tremendously uneasy. Even if I tried to sleep, it's clear that I wouldn't be able to. I should get some fresh air. Ah, oh, finally, the kitchen's free. <laughs> when I exit to the backyard, well, back space yard, while Ignis starts doing what he usually does, the cool wind I was seeking immediately graces my cheeks. But when I gaze out, there's a pretty well-ordered yard. Ellipses? At any moment now, that fissure could open up. Oh my, God. my imagination plays out horrible scene scenarios. Coming outside had the opposite effect. Imagining how frightening that could actually be, I returned to the shop when... Hello? What the fuck? This may be... Mr. Demon. That's not my What? Name. <laughs> oh, so... Oh, emoji? Emojis? Yes. <laughs> oh, you're leaving already <laughs> for this? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was practicing my impressions there. Did you like it? What? But, uh, Miser, why did you make that noise? Um, you know, I. Anyway, the starry sky is beautiful. 
Why not just enjoy it a little more? Look away from me. Forget that even happened, what? right? Um, uh, but... But just turn, turn around, Two Milk. Okay. Look at the sky. Just then, just coming, just coming out of the entrance, Miser greets me with a smile after his impression of somebody. Miser, <laughs> he calls her so much random shit. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Miser, what, what's wrong with your impressions? I thought you'd be in the demon world by now. You didn't like it. I no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, huh. Normally, you'd be right, but I was more concerned about you, and I really wanted to try that out, but... Anyway, are you worrying about what happened today? Ellipses. Um, leisurely, he yet directly presents his question, so, um, are we gonna be very scared, or I'm not afraid? Does I'm get not back afraid on yet? to take a stand. Oh, wait, did, did I forget to... <laughs> Oh, you did second. turn them off last week because if we had them on, Lupin would die again. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I just yeah, them. okay, okay, guys, are are we gonna say that? I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm really scared. Yeah, I'm feeling really oh. scared. When I think about something like that happening near Anshate again. I mean, thankfully nothing was damaged, but what if people like Kyrie and the other visitors got get hurt? Enchanté, as its owner, I should be more dignified. I thought I'd gotten released to the strange names of non-humans in other worlds, aside from the taste of coffee and cooking. What? <laughs> in this special cafe, the owner of Enchanté needs to be able to adapt, after all. I started to feel disappointed in myself for being scared. <laughs> but miser... We have to the A4 earthquake. <laughs> Does that really matter? It's not undignified to be afraid. Huh? As though wiping away my unease, he lets out a cheerful grin. What's scary is scary. What's unsettling is unsettling. It's fine to feel that way. Is that really true? Yeah, do you want me to say it in another voice? Yeah. It'll help him. <laughs> Yeah, it's really true! <laughs> anyway, also, troubles like these, beyond human knowledge, are why last bosses <laughs> like me are here. Don't hold back, just say, help me, miser! I'll... It'd make me happy if you asked that. I can't help but smile at the silly attitude of his. <laughs> what, is that how we sound? <laughs> A perfect impression, right? What? It was terrible. As what? I chuckle, he smiles again. Before I knew it, the darkness permeating my chest had disappeared somewhere. Do you feel a little more at ease? Yes, thank you. To be honest, I was too scared to sleep. When I muttered this, Miser looked to be ca thinking carefully. Then, I have a present from the Demon King, so you may have sweet dreams. He beckons me over, and when I come right before his eyes, he spins me around, turning my back to him. Then, huh? Oh. huh? Here goes. When Miser says this, a familiar sound rings out. Following that, ah, piano. A familiar light floats up in our surrounding area. Of course, I wouldn't forget it. This beautiful keyboard of light is. This is. What you used back at Armasaki Island to close the wormhole. That's right. Although this time it has no special effect. I just recreated the shape to make sound. True. As Miser said, when he presses his fingers, light dances about. Aww. Aww. Cute. Cute. Beautiful tones play out in colors, challenging the very beauty of our flowers. Such gorgeous sounds. Before I realize it, simple words like that waltz off my lips. As I thought, listening again closely, Miser's performance is beautiful. No. The melody playing out, as though sweeping away my unease. Far, far more than that time, I can hear the gentle, dulcet tones. As I listen to it in enchantment. Okay, would you like to play together? At Miser's sudden suggestion, I blink my eyes. Wait, me? With this magic? Is it okay for me to touch it? 
It's fine, it's fine. As I said before, all this does is play sound. As he says this, Miser takes my hand. Then, at his prompting, I touch the weightless keys of light. <gasps> it reacts to my fingers, and the sound rings out with dancing lights. I can't help but smile at the spectacle. I'm absorbed by it, playing my clumsy sounds over and over. As I do this. <laughs> I'm glad you seem to like it. Miser smiles as he says this, placing another part of the key playing another part of the keyboard. I wonder if he's trying to harmonize with me. My awkward tones don't obstruct his performance at all. Well, anyway, even a demon king has his concerns. I want to be your strength, True Milk. Right. Thanks, Miser. Is anything gonna try killing us? <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> as I thought, you <laughs> you aren't an evil demon king. You're a kind demon king. <laughs> what? That gives you mixed feelings as a last boss, of course. I've told you so many times, but you know I'm a tyrant in the demon world, right? I abuse my despotic power. Don't return to the castle until you found my favorite coffee beans. Like that. <laughs> So that's your image of my tyranny? Heh. <laughs> From what I've seen of you, it's that's as extreme as you can get, I imagine. As the two of us start laughing together, our sweet duet beautifully resonates, rising high into the starry sky. That night. Likely because I immersed in a, I was immersed in a lingering memory of our beautiful harmony. I had no strange nightmares of those fissures or the arms. In fact, I was able to sleep with happy feelings. <laughs> Man. Wow. 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 Cute. Cute. One week after that happy performance. No abnormal events of note happened. Just as, as though the fissure had just been a quinky dink. Mm. My peaceful routine at Enchante had been happily reclaimed. Hopefully forever. End of route. <laughs> Vivid sunlight fills the room on a certain day just past noon. Ellipses. Ellipses. As usual, sitting at the counter seat, looking down at a paperback book. Yet kind of nodding off? A demon king half closes his eyes, looking like he could fall asleep at any second. On the opposite side of him, I grind po coffee beans and steak in a mill. Then, while slowly steaming them... Hey! My steak! <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look at the kitchen, Tumo. Don't look at don't look at that direction. I begin to gaze at him intently. Ah. <laughs> Should I wake him up, or should I let him sleep, right when I'm hesitating on his decision? Hmm. The book he's holding slips and falls, and his eyes open wide at the sound. Oh shit! Uh, was, uh, was I falling asleep? Yep, you looked really comfortable. Uh, uh, Demon King dozing off? Is this the reason why my subjects think I lack majesty? While well, he seems to be seriously concerned, I can't help but smile at him. He picks up his book as he sits. Here you go. A special coffee steak surprise. <laughs> I present my freshly brewed coffee to Miser. He seems puzzled. Of course, it's because I made it without him asking. <laughs> the reason, <laughs> surely. <laughs> surely. He's not expecting free coffee. I thought you might want to drink some if you happened to wake up. I tried preparing a blend. Oh, you really do know how I think so very well. I suppose I'll accept your generosity. Is the surprise that there's no steak today? Is it not, not quite. It, oh. It has oh, okay. A1 sauce in it. Oh! Great! <laughs> yeah. Pfizer lightly rubs his eyes then. After all, this is an original <laughs> coffee, <laughs> unique in the world, especially made by you, and only you could make this to milk, right? Yeah, only and me! like 20 minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't give the honor of being the first to taste such a wonderful thing to anyone else. Uh-huh. 
Do it for my route, do it for my route. After resolving the incident on, on Amasaki Island, what I made is a blend still in trial stages. <laughs> Afterwards, seeming to like it, he's ordered it many times and happily extends his hand. Miser, after slowly enjoying the aroma, gently places his lips to the slightly bitter surface. <laughs> in meaty. Yes, it's bloody and delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's made with rare steak this time. Uh, I can tell the difference. <laughs> the brewing process didn't lose any of the flavor. This is top shelf among the greatest coffees I've ever had the honor of tasting. Aww, <sighs> I see. There's still lots to improve, so I was going to work on it some more. But I'm still happy that you like it, Miser. Oh, but top shelf? Does that mean it still isn't number one? Uh, I didn't mean that as a comparison, but well, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Why did he write it that way? Yeah. 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 Uh, I suppose that means the bar Grandpa said is still very high. Oh no! Oh, you have bar no idea, too. <laughs> not that. Not that heaven. We're ills from the heavens. I hear the path of coffee oh, is a so deep on. one. Do you, like, hear my grandfather? Like, do you hear him too? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do too, Milk. Oh, I miss him. I miss him too. I wonder how many years of training it'll take to even reach his level. Since his is the bar I want to rise above. I think back to how Grandpa looked as he would brew his coffee. Oh, God. Oh. oh, and just so you know, the coffee I like the most... What's it made by Solon? What? Really? You had another boyfriend? I totally thought that was the case, so I'm pretty shocked. At my state, the deep at my state, the Demon King chuckles. <laughs> no, Solon just had other talents. It's not an huh? issue of flavor. What what kind I've been oh. hearing so much about my grandpa? <laughs> Let's not talk about that right now. Okay. Or ever. Okay. Most delicious does not equate most preferred, in my opinion. Well, similar, they're totally different, no? Most delicious and most preferred. I suppose they're similar, yet. Now that I'm asking about it, that tone and the feeling behind it, they're both different. Not just coffee, but all favorite foods aren't purely determined by flavor. When, where, and how you drink it, who you drink it with, who made it for you. When all of these things come together, it kind of just happens. You encounter your greatest cup. Ah, I get it. That's true. Well, I might think the food had a classy restaurant's delicious. The nostalgic food my mom made, eaten together with my family, it really meets the world. Then, what are the conditions for coffee to become your favorite? Uh, that's... That... <laughs> a secret. Ellipses. Ellipses. What? It's unfair to just dodge the question like that. If you say it like it's so profound, that makes me even more curious. <laughs> it wouldn't be very fun if I just told you the answer, would it? Yes, it would. Not for me. <laughs> also, lately it seems you've forgotten just how frightening I... <sighs> <laughs> I think I should be a little mean here to get my evil points to level up. He says that, but his face and tone of voice are nothing but kind. I don't feel a shred of Ill, Ill intent. <laughs> Isn't this a little too soft to get your evil points up? I say this, but these conversations are so fun. As me and the mischievous Demon King smile at each other from across the counter. Um. A recollection? That are noticing, he'll come down from the second floor and is staring at us. Um, Eel? What's wrong? If you have an order, I'll, I'll take it. When we called him, Eel cast his eyes down. 
No. You just... You two just seem very happy. It's nostalgic. Yes. With the most beautiful expressions. You smiled at each other. I was simply captivated by it. I'll be returning to my room. I only came downstairs because I was curious about who had visited the shop. Huh? Huh? Neil smiles a little different than usual, and the two of us tilt our heads. Then, after Eel returned to his room, as though taking his place, the entrance doorbell rings, announcing a new visitor. Oh, my sir. Ah, welcome, Rindo. Faster than I can greet him, Rindo briskly walks over to us. Ah. Well, then places his hand oh. on the counter table in front of Miser. Sorry for interrupting your coffee. But this is... Uh, wait, this... But about this invasion matter... What are you even thinking? He's smiling, but Rindo's voice is full of force. Uh, what do you mean? In response to the miser tilts his head in question. Puzzled by a difference in their tone, I can't help but inter interrupt. Um, <laughs> Rindo, what's, what is this all of a sudden? Oh, sorry, I didn't even greet you, Two Milk. As if to explain the situation, the Rindo pulls out a smartphone, then holds up the screen to me. Check this TikTok. <laughs> Shown in the middle of the map is a harbor area of Tokyo Bay. A coastal warehouse by Tokyo Bay. A wall opened up in the bay or in the area recently. This morning, non-humans came through it and started to occupy the surrounding area. Said they were demons from the demon world. Where are demons be coming from? <laughs> demons. That means. That's right. They're inhabitants of Miser's domain. More accurately, they're subordinates, yes. So I came here thinking that he would have more information about the situation at hand. But judging from his state, he doesn't seem to know. The demon world, you know, it's quite a large place. I've no knowledge of this matter. When Miser shakes his head, I nod my head and continue. Also, I can't think of Miser suddenly doing such a thing without good reason. That's why I question Rindo. Mm -hmm. A group of demons probably acted on their own without Miser's consent, right? Isn't that more likely? Demons always get consent to milk. <laughs> to be honest, I think that line of thought is more likely. Besides, Miser wouldn't use subordinates and would probably just start vandalizing a world on his own. <laughs> um, thanks for the slight and also the trust. I absolutely would. I always <laughs> have to give and take when it comes to our relationship. Uh, uh -huh. what? Yes. Hey, hey guys, I've been meaning to like talk to you about this. Why does why did my grandpa call you two baby girl? What? Anyway! <laughs> oh, okay. In, in reality, Miser is the king who rules demons. The subordinates reflect the superior. It also, seem, also seems this custom of human society also applies to the demon world. And the superior, the king, is Miser. I guess I have no choice. Well, I'm not enthusiastic about it, I'll take care of this matter. He finishes the little coffee he has left and stands up, looking very annoyed. Oh. Oh. Leaving Enchante, driving at high speed in Rindo's car for a little under an hour. Oh, finally! 300 miles 300 per hour, hour 500 wow. miles per hour. This thing gets 5,000 centaur power. <laughs> wow, the rusty door I'm of impressed. A, the rusty door of a rundown warehouse opens with a creaking sound. The smell of iron rusting from the sea breeze greases as we step inside. So, um, this is a new background what? CG. Why did they bring two milk? <laughs> I don't know why they brought me. 
The warehouse where the demons appeared. We need two milk as collateral. Why? What? That's Rindo! Right. <laughs> Why am I here? Rindo. To raise the stakes. What? <sighs> I was expecting Ignis to show up. But, what? Uh, that's right. I hear this place was used to store containers unloaded around Tokyo Bay. But the company went bankrupt a while back. So, Mr. Demon King, do you sense your kind's presence? No, I don't sense anything like that yet, but before we get into that... Miser turns around, looking at me with a complicated expression. <laughs> Why the fuck did you bring two milk? He was already in the car when I started it. It wasn't my you fault. Could've... Kicked her out! His view that is exactly would be rude. right. <laughs> oh, you're right. You know what? You're uh, so right. You see, I never get to ride in Rinda's car anymore, and I really wanted to like go at a thousand miles per hour. L listen, it, it, I just wanted to ride, okay? I was kind of wondering myself, since he said, as long as I don't leave your side. The one who allowed it, Rindo, looks about alertedly and makes a bitter smile. Mm. Well, you know, she looked at me with those wide eyes that just screamed, I'm curious, I mean, and yeah. I make coffee. <laughs> I, I do, I was curious, and I do make coffee, that's correct. Uh-huh. For all your nagging, you fall up in the slightest pressure comes your way. If... Comes <laughs> to worst, I think I'm missing a word there. You're her shield. Yeah, okay. if, if comes for... If comes if to worst. If comes to worst, Rinder. Do you understand? Does fall I'll easily. make sure to come better. Whoa, so <laughs> on. Go. So, so on. Don't want to too. Wait, wait, Grandpa's here? No. I thought he, I thought he oh, died. Oh shit! They trapped oh. Showon's ghost in <laughs> his <laughs> granddaughter. <laughs> She's no. been in there the whole time. What? What? You're oh, saying that problem? Gr Grandpa's been inside me this whole time? No wonder we all. <laughs> Thank you, attract. <laughs> Rindo, please! I got it. Shaking his head. So <laughs> mystery solved. <laughs> Shaking. Miser walk, starts walking in. We got deeper into the warehouse. Then, after this passing the... my crazy novels. <laughs> after passing the shadow of a certain container. Hmm. Miser stops right in front of me. Wow. Miser, what's wrong? I know Grandpa's bot spirit's still in me, but like still. Oh, ah, uh, the demons! I found them, but uh... judging from Miser's stance, he's probably it's probably not dangerous. Me and Rindo follow his gaze too. <laughs> ellipses. El ellipses. Um, are they giant? Fruit jellies? Without thinking, I mutter my impression of what I saw. Eee! The fruit jellies? Question mark? Turn to us in unison. Oh, oh, they raised us! The humans that live here, you know? The natives! Well, we'll probably get smoked in the fight the same way you let him pass! They speak. Which means. They must be some kind of intelligent non-humans. Are these the demons we were searching for? They mentioned slime. So it's kind of like the slime monsters that appear in games and stuff, right? Um, slime, a common monster from RPGs. Oh, uh, as gelatinous life forms of indeterminate shape, their strength varies based on the game they appear, though they are usually very weak. True, the image from their appearance is much more like... is much like that. Um, so, was it you guys? The ones who came from the demon world? Kaiser asked in a disappointed way, then. The slimes bundle together and start trembling. No! Slimes aren't demons! We never heard of the demon world! Don't just go accusing people of stuff! Slimes are a type of pet! Totally normal pet the world's everywhere! Right. Well, we're not requiring an invasion at all. Just leave us alone. Uh, sure. All right. Clearly, you've come from the demon world and to invade the human world. 
How did you know? Well, you know, you're not very good liars. During this oh, conversation... <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Rindo has a doubtful look on his face and pats Miser on the shoulder. Hmm. Show Miser. He's really genius. They don't seem very threatening at all, but... They aren't even reacting to you, the dingy Demon King himself. Um, they must be countryside demons. We don't have photographs in the demon world, so a lot of folks don't even know my face. Ah, so that's... Who's, who's laughing? Uh... Ha 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 as though aiming uh, to interrupt our conversation, a sharp hackle sounds shaking the warehouse. Uh, is, is this me? Th this might actually me. be you. Okay, all right. You know what? We could try it again. <laughs> you know what? Take two. Why is there Round again? two. Just speaking for those worthless slimes, I apologize for the impoliteness. You man. <laughs> I would have liked to be more selective in personnel. The wormhole was much smaller than expected. Aside from me, who dislocated his shoulders to squeeze through. <laughs> These soft bodies were the only ones that could come into this world. What the fuck? What the fuck? Th this voice, where's it coming from? Did he dislocate his shoulders? <laughs> yeah. I fervently look around then on the stacked contain on the on the stacked containers, I spot a single silhouette. Um, do milk get back just in case. Miser immediately shields me behind his back, when right after. Bitches! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the silhouette makes a valiant shout of bitches and leaves it from the <laughs> container. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Azza. Yep, I think that's you. It lands magnificently, revealing his form. I'm gonna drink water. What appeared was a lone man. Uh. Uh. Oh, it's the demon! Oh, Yo, we putting the two fingers up. Oh, Yo, know, what are you- Why are you putting the two fingers up? Dark brown skin, Problem. a sinister looking tail, and protruding horns, dislocated shoulders. This one uh, looks yeah. exactly like... A demon? For me, he hid in it behind Miser's back. I say this confidently, knowing what it was. <laughs> That's exactly right! Anyway, I'll let these slimes shut up for now and explain everything myself. <laughs> the warehouse is claimed by us demons as our beachhead to conquer the human world. A uh, beachhead in a battle that's refers to an important position held on Thank the front you. line for deeper advancement. That's actually I... useful. Thank you. Yeah. What? He declares this so boldly, I'm lost for words. You're going to invade the de the human world from here? For from this? <laughs> a fine reaction, human. Your fear is my nourishment. From this little place. Yeah, it's a pretty tiny beachhead for invading an entire world. We state our frank impressions, the man crosses his arms with a humble face. <laughs> Indeed. To be honest, I thought it was a little bit small myself. And the human world is, well, like, a little bigger than I imagined. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, 300, like, million times bigger? You know, it's not the size of the space, it's how you use it, so don't worry about it. What? Um, maybe you should make your estimates a little bigger when you form your invasion plans? Miser makes an appropriate point, but the man laughs it off. <laughs> Regardless of how big the human world is, it is nothing before my overwhelming power. <laughs> With all that said, you 
will be my first prey. Now tremble before my power. Submit while you still can, humans. The man points his finger and finally takes a good look at us. At Miser and Rindo. And finally, from behind Miser's back at me and having poked my face out a little to talk. What? The moment he spots me, for some reason, the demon man opens his eyes wide as, and is lost for words. Oh, a chick? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. What? What is this? He's staring right at me. Um. So, who exactly are you? You're not a slime. Are you leader of the Demon King's army? One of the big four? <laughs> Unable to endure the silence, I asked him this, but the man's body stiffens instantly. After seemingly forced coughs to try and hide his discomposure. <laughs> Very well. I shall introduce myself. Listen in awe and be struck with fear. I am the one admired by all of the demon world. Yes, <laughs> and you're wide open. Quite literally in a single stroke, Miser snaps his fingers and right then, the man is blown away with an intense force right into the wormhole behind him. Engulfs the man's body and he's sucked in with immense speed. <laughs> Alright, that's a hole in one right there. You slums are up next. Such brutality with all mercy. We slimes are going a little pale and weird. Being gallantly blown away is a good ending. This was for my granny back in the country. We fought to the very end, granny. <laughs> the slimes form impressive par parabolas as they soar through the air. I feel sorry, but it was kind of beautiful. With all the demons blown safely back through the wormhole, the warehouse has regained its peace, but... Hmm. How should I put it? Invasion? Occupation? Not sure any would really describe what just happened now. Hey, Miser, those were your subordinates, right? You blew them away pretty violently. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Demons have really tough bodies. I'm sure that didn't even scratch them. Okay, if you say so, you're at the little sus over there. What? No. Never. Me? Sus. No. No, no, no. Well, no. Never. Well, Not me, no, no. Anyway, afterwards. With the uproar resolved, we head back home. According to Rindo's contact and protocol, the warehouse wormhole will be monitored by GPM until it closes. Then, after arriving home, we talk about what happened today to everyone gathered at the shop for dinner. You're saying that Miser's lackeys tried... Whoa. That's typed weird. Tried to come and invade the human world without his permission. As far as I heard, it seems these subordinates are quite unique and difficult to control. You act rather casually every day, yet it seems standing at the head of the demon world is quite difficult, Miser. Miser, can you have this ice cream if you want? A, a present of gratitude for me. You! You! <laughs> All your eyes are warm with sympathy, especially with Eel. Is. Be especially with Eel is being so considerate. Oh, he. Sure, that's <laughs> Eel is uh -huh. being. <laughs> <laughs> Having received a plate of ice cream, Miser mutters with this with mixed feelings. However, Miser's subordinates. I do not believe he has ever spoken of such subjects before. Wait, really? You mentioned their subordinates, but... <laughs> you don't want to be oh. like this. <laughs> I mean, that was one of them. 
yeah. he's my top dog, you know. But there are quite a number of them. But let's see, to say it simply. Oh, uh, you, you can say it simply? They're all very unrestrained. That's all. Even Markiplier? Oh, he... Uh, don't get me started on him. <laughs> okay. You don't want to face him. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's way too simple. You're a shit king. Well, goddamn, Ignis. Damn. Oh. Uh, Macha. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, no. But for someone who lives in such a dangerous world, they sounded rather amusing, didn't they? Dangerous? Oh, that, now that you mention it, during the party that we had during the reopening, we touched on the demon world, didn't we? You know, like, a long time ago. <laughs> Observed Otherworld XXXX Demon World Asmodia. Losing its sun, the world is pitch black and its land illuminated by a dark moon. Its atmosphere is filled with miasma, with swamps of terrible poisons welling about. The non-humans that live there are called demons who are creatures of impulse and fight in endless bloody wars. That was the story. In other words, it's a fantasy world with lots of dangers where you see swords and magic and steak. I don't know about the steak, I guess, but steak. other than that, true. And according to the previous story, there were also heroes? Yes, humans live in the demon world. The heroes born there sometimes raid the castle to try and defeat me. Mm, let's see, a last generation's hero was pretty strong. I thought I was gonna die when he stabbed his holy sword right through my heart. Your heart? I'm struck speechless by the words that suddenly rushed from his mouth. A sword through your heart? Miser, are you okay? It's just a flesh wound. I'm fine, I'm fine. That was a long time ago, and I fully healed. Don't worry. He says this so nonchalantly, but... Ellipses. If it was just a little bit worse, Miser could have died back then. Man. After the conversation and finish... After the conversation and finishing cleaning up after dinner... Finishing cleanup after dinner. While well, everyone has returned to their rooms or worlds, I. All right, see you tomorrow. Thanks for the delicious coffee once again today. Yeah. To see Miser off as he returns to the demon world, I stand in front of the room with a gate. Ellipses. Returns to the demon world? Huh? Oh, two milk is something wrong. You don't seem too cheery. It appeared my inner thoughts appear to my face. Miser stops his feet as he enters the room and peers into my face. Are you worried about the demons from earlier today? I told you they'll be perfectly fine. It's not that, uh... If there was anything I was worried about, it's more like a someone. It's you, Miser. <gasps> Uh, me? Yeah, um, Miser. You always that, return to the name. demon world every day, right? Well, yeah, I have work to do there. About that. Miser, you know how Eel lives in the human world? Would you not be able to live here? What? Miser suddenly freezes in place. Why are you asking me that? Still puzzled, he answers my question with a question. You, you know, earlier, I couldn't stop thinking about the story about how the hero almost, like, you know, murdered you. If you go back to the demon world, doesn't that mean heroes and other people there try and target your very life? Uh, yeah, that's correct. But as you know, and all too well, I am a demon king who is a very good cheater. I wouldn't lose so easily. But, but the chance of losing someday, it isn't zero, is it? Your heart was stabbed with a sword. He just told me that story earlier. Uh, that's... We're talking like that was just normal, but five years or ten years or after that. Who knows if someday a hero will appear whose powers exceed Miser's. 
If that happens, one day, suddenly, something could happen to you in a place and I wouldn't even know it. One day, you might stop coming to the shop forever. I just thought I wouldn't like that. So I would be more concerned about the fact that there are heroes trying to stop him. Heroes. Heroes. <laughs> plural. <laughs> It's only like, a possibility. People that are trying to do good for their world. Yeah. You just know, the small details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just imagining it, my chest hurts a lot. It's agonizing. Uh oh. So I was, I mean, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, why you have to, a lot of work to do in the Dean world, but uh, um, you could uh, borrow a room here. Maybe start ha living your quarters. Start, start your living quarters just be here if he does that the danger he's in would lighten just a little bit it's an itty bitty bit at my suggestion filled with hope I'm sorry I I just can't do that Miser quietly declines his feeling of regret was clear upon his face ah it was then that I realized I made a very one-sided suggestion. Uh, I'm sorry, I was pushing this all on my own. Of course, in your position, I wouldn't you wouldn't be able to just make a decision like, uh. No, no, that's wrong. That's not it. That's not it at all. Huh? There's an expression I've never seen before in Miser's face. As though he was suffocating, he grasped his chest with his hand. I'm happy about your concern. If it was possible, I would be it would be the great thing I could ever imagine. It sure would be the great thing you could ever imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it would too, <laughs> look, it, it would. would. But but uh, but, but I, is it not the great thing that you could ever imagine? <laughs> it's not the great thing. I'm lying to you. Oh wow. But really? Lying. I know you're terribly shocked. <laughs> oh, I'm speechless over here. I seem to actually hear the words that I said. Miser raises his head. Sorry, uh, I need to get going. I need to lecture those demons from the warehouse today, too. Uh, Miser? My words don't reach him. Miser walks into the room with the gate inside. Then, while hearing the sound of the doorbell to another world ringing, I repeat the words Miser said inside my head. What could he have meant by lying? He said it with such tangible agony. Man, what could that possibly mean? God, what could that mean? Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. So you think this is me? I it's, think that's it's you. Magia, yeah. yeah. Okay. With each brisk step, there's a rough feeling under my feet, as though fleeing, or fleeing from her words. Maybe. Oh wait, this, this is, my is my turn. No, but never oh, mind. God, <laughs> abort mission. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. We don't know who these people are. Without looking back at the gate, I simply keep walking. I live at Cafe Enchanté. Live at Cafe Enchanté. Live. <laughs> That's my up and coming act. How did you guess? You drove me into Coro. No. Coro Road. What, what Two Milk said was the sweetest temptation. Waking up in the morning with her there, like it's natural. We'd have silly chats all night. I'd be able to wish her good night before bed. I could go and talk to her whenever I wanted to see her face. Things like that. It would be such a dream. I forget my position as Demon King and almost start nodding without thinking. As if to admonish my foolish thoughts, a strong wind slaps my face. Yeah, I know. I know it very well myself. Even if I didn't come back here tomorrow and started living at Enchanté. All that would lie ahead would be tragedy. 
My chest begins to hurt when I recall the face two milk made when I refused. If only I could tell her the reason why I can't. But I can't even do that. In the end, I'm just a liar. That's all. But it's been fine. Everything so far. To her, I visit the shop each and every day, and I take my time to enjoy a cup of coffee steak. I go home at night. Your steak. Ignis, how, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, go sorry. home. Okay. I'm reflecting right now. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I will take a steak, though. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, I go home at night just as an eccentric regular of hers. That's all. If I wish for more than that, I would certainly be punished for it. As long as I can watch her live a happy life at Achate, that's all I should ever need. Wow. 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 It was me again. Hi. It's me. Wow. The footfalls of the staircase resound and vanish with each step through the room. The hand of the clock has already passed one, but sleep has yet to find me today. Getting into bed and closing my eyes or even putting on a sleepwear is too much. I set my feet into the shop, thinking that I might be able to sleep after having a warm drink. Fresh steak coffee. Whoa. I brew some decaffeinated steak coffee that why is it defined after wrapping my hands around the warm and steaming <laughs> cup. Um, coffee with a simulant caffeine removed. It is also called by other terms like caffeine free or decaf. Why couldn't you put decaf? No. Uh, I sit down in my usual chair. I'm stealing it. Maybe I'm unconsciously yeah. picked that one because I've been thinking about him a lot. Wow. Phew. Hmm. That was way too much, too fast. Want to live here? Ugh, to ask that. While reflecting on my verbal gaffe, I stare at the service tension in my cup. Neil doesn't want to go to the heavenly world and just lives here completely. But Candace and Ignis often stay the night if it gets too late. That's why I might have been misunderstanding things a little. This was a place for them to be, but another place was there where they needed most. Miser and everyone, they're all just customers after all. Everyone has their own world to return to. They have lives that I don't know about. Except if I date them. That too. Thinking about it again, date it's them. a little sad. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel my grandpa with me constantly. He wants... Something in me wants to date all of these men. I don't know why. And I, I'm not like getting with any of them right now. It's making me really sad. As I worry about such things, the bottom of the cup becomes visible. Maybe I'll be able to sleep now. Right, Grandpa? Let's go to bed. Oh, we're... Uh... <laughs> I return behind the counter to clean up after myself. A rather worn old coffee, coffee cup at the edge of the shelf catches my eye. This is Miser's. He said it was very important. Man, I hope I don't break it. <laughs> Wow, I hope this has become a plot point. It up one time. Why would you flash back to the fucking image? I'm gonna scream. It's my own personal luck, I guess. Some people have bowling balls, dart sets, but I have one singular mug. I can't name a single person who has a fucking bowling ball. <laughs> As a self-proclaimed coffee fanatic, I'm particular about drinking vessels, too. Do you know what I mean with, like, one single mug? Just like, this is my mug. I can't have any other ones. No, me, if a person I, me, my mugs, <laughs> they have many. Yeah, it looks like an ordinary mug to me, but is it actually really expensive? Well, if it cracked, the world would be annihilated by the Demon Lord's rage. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But still, it's something precious to me. Cool. Ellipses. Seeing how he entrusted such a cherished item to me. That should say how much Miser trusts me, at least. But... Don't... Please. Oh, God. Just have this oh my God. Oh! I'm happy about your concern. If it was possible, I w it would be the 
great thing I could ever imagine. <laughs> but, but I sometimes I forget how to talk to milk. And also, I'm lying to you. Anyway, bye. What can he mean by lying? Why did Miser make such an agonized face at the time? Such a face was a first for the Demon King who always wore a smirk. I wonder if the time he'll feel about feel like talking about this will ever come. As I think this, I extend my hand to the cup and touch it. Then <gasps> Huh? The sound of something cracking. At first I thought I had cracked the coffee cup with a single touch. I was about to be like, whoa, I'm so strong. But oh, I was wrong. Oh, it's a rift. <laughs> oh. It wasn't the cup, but its surroundings. The lake before it, Amasaki Island, and the other day in front of the shop, the same sudden occurrence. A crack in space on the CG. Huh? I couldn't understand what happened. My body's stuck and I have nowhere to run. Before I knew it, the fissure was in front of my eyes, opening 10 centimeters in width. I can measure now. Strong wind blows from it, brushing against my cheek. What? New CG, inside the crack. Wow. I can faintly see land stretching endlessly. I thought it was a desert for a moment, but what's piled up isn't sand. It's ash. At the very least, there's nothing in the area I can see, just dry wind blowing against the land. In the middle of this sad world, I spot a figure. Due to the blowing ash, I can't quite make up the form, but... I mean, this is probably you now, Masha. <laughs> it seems a figure has spotted my existence. Much like, a, much like a child who had just learned to walk. The figure... The young man staggers his way over and approaches. Oh, yep, that's the man. Uh, who are you and do you need a shirt? Like, I have extra shirts. Do you need one? It's a shirt. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. The answer to my question sounds like a groan or a cry. Is he unable to speak or wear shirts? The young man still vibrates his throat, looking at me through the fissure. A high, the high bridge of a, the nose and beautiful eyes. Hair with some peculiarity. That form... Reminds me of someone I know well. Come! Oh, God. So without oh. thinking... Me. <laughs> me. You? What? <laughs> you? Me. My, I mean, Miser. <laughs> Uh, when I call this out. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was selfish for a second. <laughs> Here's flow then the young man's cheeks. Then. Uh, As though tearing at the fissure in space, he suddenly extends an arm. What? Reflexively, I take a step back and the arm doesn't reach me, but... No, I found. Finally, finally. He sends his hand towards me again, but he's blocked by the closing fissure. Finally found. Only his voice slips into the shop, and the unknown man vanishes along with the fissure like mist. Uh. Was that just now? No. Who was he? <laughs> no. No. What if Tuma <laughs> just doesn't tell anyone about this? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. So uh she just thinks she's sleepwalking. <laughs> sleep what the man? fuck? I had a wild one last <laughs> she night. She should have been like, Oh, oh no. my god, why? <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go! <laughs> no. Hey, hey, hey! Dromey special delivery. One human coming right up. Coming. Oh. Oh no. 
Oh, why? If you get a heat drone me. Since you find another human lost in Bestia via wormhole. Sorry for all the trouble. I'll contact the rescue team and get them working on identification. No need to worry. I couldn't sleep well at night if I left them to die. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I see, yes. Ever since you started cooperating with Bestia research and dealing with problems like this has been much smoother. It's very helpful, isn't that right, Koo? Yeah, Koo. <laughs> I'm just glad to help, but lately it doesn't seem like there are, are way more lost- Doesn't it seem like there are way more lost people around? Like, as far as I know, this is maybe the third one this month. I mean, in my my world isn't really the most touristy location out there, you know. Ah, uh, about that. The frequency of wormholes opening in Bestia in the human world has increased greatly. Greatly enough. As soon as you're affected, we deploy teams to deal with that. Like wormholes, huh? And based, yeah, wormholes are everyday an everyday thing. A, a worm is a beast, and a hole is a hole. Uh, but why is it just the humans that fall out of them, and nobody else? Really, beast? Yep, as far as I know, there hasn't been a single demon or fairy or angel popping up in our neck of the woods. Is that the very first I've heard of this? I should alert the higher-ups just in case. And thank you for the information, Dromi. I have to do so, I'll be going. Okay, uh... Hmm. Could all of our wormholes opening up right now just lead straight into the human world? Hmm. You know, in that case, no. I could make real no. good use no. of them. No. No. Meh. At the same time, I kind of have this totally bad feeling. Yeah, you stop right there, Jerome. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, we're getting everyone in here. Yeah. Oh, the fig crystal is perished. Oh no, everything's happening at once. Uh oh. <laughs> it happened suddenly in the area where a small scale wormhole opened along the eastern edges. Possible. Is this some sort of mistake? If something were to happen to Yachter's cell, my body and the other fairies. Unfortunately, no. This is a truly joyous occasion. Oh no. I went to confirm it myself, and it actually has died. To be more precise, it hasn't just died. It is more appropriate to say it vanished. It vanished? Yes. A part of Yggdrasil has disappeared as though it was grounded out. However, no fairies have witnessed this occurrence directly. Such as such, details remain unknown. Hello. If part of the world tree died going into rage, there are no problems now. But I doubt such good fortune would suddenly fall upon us. There's something eerie about it. I agree. Hopefully, the damage will remain restricted to the cursed world, or the cursed world tree. Oh, me. Oh, uh, hey, oh, hey, God. <laughs> my lord, I bring a report. The wormhole that occurred a short time ago has annihilated the temple in Sector 12. Three angels attending the temple were lost. Recovery is expected to be impossible. 
I have also confirmed the total loss of the air life signals. This wormhole and others currently threatening the heavenly world are all unmistakably of the same type. Then. Affirmative. As for now, measures against these wormholes take the highest priority. The Salvation Project will be paused. Oh, perfect. All the evil plans oh. are stopping. <laughs> also, depending on how this progresses, understanding the risk, I shall consider the forcible recovery of that individual. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not for the Salvation Project, but... In preparation for the deal with the threat beyond these wormholes. As you will, my god. Yes. 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 God damn, where my 4150? Why was I in all of those? Why was I in all of those? <laughs> oh uh -huh. no, it's happening again. Masha's in every single- Masha's <laughs> 15 characters. But I wasn't in any of we those all scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know how typically, like, the end of, um, the end of Atome games have, like, everything at once? I was expecting that. Oh but... yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Alright. I can't wait- can't wait for Rindo to become a Bleach character again. Anyway. Yo! <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> That'll that'll be it for this week because we got through an entire chapter. We're, at, wow. Wow. We're going at breakneck Ooh. pace compared to Eels route. Look, like the first half of Eels far. route, maybe. God, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, that was rough to get through. It, it was. Yeah. It was. What it seems to be a fun climax to the end. Yep. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for us tonight. Um, we're going to be going through the Miser route until we're done with it. And then we'll be oh. done with Cafe Enchante forever. Oh! Because oh. there's nothing oh. else. There's nothing it else. went to P.O. Fiore. No. Yeah, all the oh. fucking money went to P.O. Fiore of all things. Oh, I fucking no. hate P.O. Fiore. Ugh. More like P.U. Fiore. Yeah, P.U. Fiore. Damn, that was a good one. I don't remember Damn. which character <laughs> Macho voiced in P.U. Fiore. <laughs> Leo. Um, it's oh, yeah. Gilbert. He voiced Not Gilbert. Leo. Gilbert, the yeah. blonde one. No, no the Gilbert's one. the one with the eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one who kept appearing in even though it wasn't his yeah, route. the one I was thinking of. Oh, because, yeah, okay. that guy. The yeah, yeah boy. the butler dude. Not, not, not the butler guy. The guy who was, like, attending her. The yeah. good boy. Yeah, the good boy. In far too that, many scenes. That fucking game <laughs> yeah. was terrible. I played oh, all God. of it. It was bad all around. <laughs> but anyway, today, because it's GDQ week, we're reading GDQ oh, all week. Yay, yeah, it's done quickly. Oh, yeah, they're playing Outer Wilds right now. Oh, yeah, they just started too. It's only two minutes in. Um, well, it's already be done. <laughs> no, it's a um, it's a one hour fifteen run. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That is yeah. a, I recommend everybody play Outer Wilds. It's a really cool game. A little game. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Um. So next week we're gonna, just gonna continue with this. But yeah, everyone say bye. 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 bye.